Okay, how about if I do that? I changed one of the monitor settings. Uh, has that helped at all? Oh, wait, do you hear me now? Yay! Uh, sucks that um, apparently Prenzel doesn't work with that. Uh, I had a monitor change um, because when I have monitor and output um, compared to monitor and mute the output, when I do that on YouTube, it hears me twice, which is weird. But now I hear myself, and if you hear me, then that's a good start. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> it's working! Yeah, I think the thing is, uh, I must have had my desktop audio unmuted before, so I was hearing myself and repeating the hearing of myself. So now that desktop audio is muted and the mic's fixed, hopefully the sound is alright now. But yeah, the echo, the echo is the worst. I ended up recording a whole bunch of stuff for the first episode on YouTube and didn't realise it was recording the echo and I had to basically re-record the entire audio and it, it sucked. <laughs> right, on that note though, I'm going to turn the music down just a little bit because... It's just a little bit heavy in my in my head. It's literally only on fifteen percent, but it's like it sounds so loud in comparison. I'm not sure why. But uh, how is everyone today? I hope everyone's doing good. <laughs> nice. Yeah, you guys are like both five hours behind me, I think, right? So um, it's like just after 6 p.m. for me. So I'm like just chilling. My sister's out. My mum's downstairs. Callie is just like chilling on the sofa. <laughs> so uh, now seems like a pretty good time. Uh, if there is any internet dips, by the way, let me know. Because I did a test on the bandwidth and it seemed like it was going to be fine. But we also had a bit of a storm pass over earlier. So uh Hopefully that doesn't come back over and like just eat the internet. That would be a great first <laughs> first impression. <laughs> yeah, the witch hat. Yeah, I think this is the Twitch side thing that is going to be really sad when that goes because like it's so cute. This is an interesting track. I didn't realise there was going to be a saxophone in this. <laughs> but uh, yeah, um, my day's been pretty chill, honestly, so far. I woke up a bit late. Um, since I got back from, from Dorset, it's just been like, apparently I just needed to sleep. And I've been sleeping for like 12 hours a day. It's not great but you got to get your sleep where you can, so I woke up super late and was just like, you know, I'm just going to chill today. Had some food, had a shower, and I've just been sitting there for the last hour or so, like, oh my god, should I go live? What do I do? <laughs> I'm making sure everything's ready. But uh, from what I can tell, everything's working okay. Um, yeah, yeah, it's, it is pretty bad. Um, I was quite lucky, uh, we were in the new camper van and I usually get quite bad like car sickness travelling but something about that van, the way it moves, in the back it's awful but in the front it's actually okay so it wasn't that bad but it was like a couple of hours either way and emotions were running high and it was just like we got home and it was like right I'm just going to sleep for a week straight, <laughs> just don't want to do anything. I will say the one thing that is going to take some getting used to and I'm sure um, like May I'm sure you can agree like sometimes it's weird when I'm like I feel like I'm having a conversation and then I see you guys typing and I'm like I can't hear your lovely voices and it's weird me talking to myself and then like oh yeah I have to check the chat. <laughs> yeah thanks Jay yeah. 
So I, 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 always, I always sleep a lot anyway, but like when I have plans with other people, they work on the quote unquote normal time, time scale. So it's like then we're like, oh yeah, I'm going to get up, have breakfast, walk the dog and everything. And it's like 9am and then I'm just like, I'm still asleep at that point and I'm like, can I sleep for like another two hours and then get up and have a coffee and then do stuff? And they're like, no, we gotta go now. <laughs> so, now that I'm back on my own time scale, I'm like, okay, I could just chill for a bit. Oh, of course, Jay. Always miss the uh, the scream singing. 100%. I'm just a, a little upset that I didn't have, I wasn't able to have my mic on last night because we would have been singing Blink 182 to each other. Like, that's such a good track. <laughs> I've literally I've had that in my head all day um, I've just been like running around the house going what's my age again what's my age again it's literally it's been on repeat in my brain <laughs> and that's about the time she walked away from me <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> oh absolutely yeah that sounds like a great idea it's just like get everyone together get the discord like voice call set up and just have all of us together like playing Fall Guys or Pico Park or something and just everyone just screaming like what's happening? <laughs> Games, movies, scream singing, absolutely all of that, 100%. Right, I'm just going to, don't mind me, I'm just going to pop a couple of things in the chat because I tested them myself on OBS but I just want to make sure that it's actually coming up properly. Okay, hopefully that works and that link is okay because that one's one of the more important ones that I want to have available. Uh, I don't know if I've set that to a timer yet, I might have to look into that separate because I don't really understand how timers work. but. Hopefully that link works because I just want to have that available. It's always nice to have recess resources. I can speak resources. Yay. Awesome. I've got so many things open at the bottom of my screen at the moment, so I just don't forget what I've got. Yeah, that's, that's awesome. Uh, so so far it seems like everything's working okay which is fantastic uh, i did have a look at like the having like the twitch stream manager open and realized it literally was everything that obs already has so hopefully i don't need anything back there although i just looked at the uh the potential list of users in chat and uh, either new people are here and they're lurking, in which case I won't mention any particular names. But given this is my first stream and I've been on for less than 20 minutes, I maybe have uh, some stream bots already, viewer bots, but it's fine. I don't mind that too much. Yeah, I, I was wondering if it was like I could have some kind of like mod chat from my side. Uh, that's totally up to you, May. I'll be happy to do that, um, but obviously no pressure. I know you've got a lot of other stuff going on, so that's completely up to you if you'd like to. I mean, that's open to both you and to Jay. Like At the moment, life's my only mod, uh, so <laughs> there's plenty of positions open. And uh, it's like, if you two would like to, um, then feel free. Um, but obviously, you don't have to if you don't want to. It's completely up to you guys. Oh, bless you, May. Thank you. That's really sweet. Now, that's something I actually don't know how to do while I'm live. I, I'm Weirdly, I'm looking at Twitch right now rather than OBS. I probably shouldn't be doing it that way, but it's just a habit, I guess. Um, so I'm not sure how to like do these things kind of on the go. So this would be an interesting test. Just make sure I can actually spell your name correctly. Uh, I don't know if that did anything, but if it did, let me know.
Okay, right, that's good to know. Uh, let me just try something very quickly. If I go quiet, I'm sorry for a second. I'm just looking through things and like pushing buttons and reading and talking at the same time is apparently not a skill I have, so bear with me one second. I swear I looked through all of this at one point and I was like I'll try and remember where everything is if I need it and now I, I can't find the one thing I need. <laughs> roles manager, that's what I'm after. Okay sweet, so on the roles manager it says both of you have the role on there now. I'm not sure if you guys refresh maybe it'll just take a second to get through. Yay, look at that green sword, awesome. I always get scared putting anything into chat when it's like a, one of those slash commands and then you press enter and then nothing happens. I'm like, did it work or not? The amount of times I've tried to do stuff on live stream and it just, nothing happens. So I'm like, did it actually go through or not? Like, it would be nice if it actually let me know. You know what? I typed in your name and apparently I've just given a moderator role to somebody who has the same name as you and I've just seen the pictures different. Uh, how do I get rid of that? Okay, right, let's, let's try this again and uh, actually... Uh, oh yeah, you've got an underscore after your name. I completely missed that and I will just checked like, oh you should have the role and I'm like, oh crap, screw <laughs> that. Some random on the internet. Okay, let me try let me try this again one second. There we go. Let's try let's try it that time. <laughs> Yay, there we go. I swear, I'm a professional. Definitely been doing this for more than, what, half an hour? <laughs> uh, right, so having tested all of that, I, I am going to either turn the music down or maybe even off because I wanted to try um, if I go to my game screen uh, I want to see what happens if I pull up this I think if I tab out of the game it um, mutes the game audio which is good to know I think what I'm going to do is, I feel, I feel I already feel like in the quiet moments the music's fighting with the sound of the game, so but just now I'm going to pause the music because I want to see and make sure that everything with the game stuff actually works properly. <laughs> Spooky Kennock Wilderness. <laughs> also, I realised I just said Kennock immediately and was like, wait, have I even said that correctly? So apologies if I ever do sort of say anything weirdly where I'm like, half the time I'm convinced I, I say things correctly and then the other half of the time I just say shit and think it's correct and 
<laughs> get through it though. Uh, survival mode. Uh, I'm just going to start up a new game because reasons. Uh, stalker because I am a masochist. So let's put it on hard. Choose a random place. I just want to see how the game sounds sound. Oh god, this put me in a horrible place. Okay. Um There we go. It wasn't wouldn't it wouldn't let me pause for a second there. So um if you guys haven't seen this game before, I think I might have done on the Discord once very briefly for Jay and she watched me get chased by a wolf, so that was a great introduction to it. But uh the uh, the basic premise of this is um there's some kind of like geomagnetic event which happens like somewhere in Canada in a place called Great Bear and there's a there's a complete story mode of this and episode 5 is coming out sometime next year I think so I'm not playing the story mode yet because I know like when episode 5 comes out that's the last one and they might want to update some things in the game but the basic story is that like there's a plane that goes down in the area and then you kind of have to survive but it kind of it changes the weather to be quite quite a lot more harsh than you might think it would be otherwise um changes the wildlife up a bit so like wolves that wouldn't necessarily come for you in nature normally they're very much more like, very aggressive just because the whole event just kind of shifted some things around and the survival sandbox mode is basically it does what it says on the tin you just have to survive um and there, there are four difficulty modes. I've never tried Interloper, which is the hardest. Um, and honestly, I'm scared. I'm quite scared too. Because um, I, I kind of have been playing on Stalker for a little bit. And the longest I've survived is six days. So <laughs> I don't really want to try going into Interloper yet. Um, so I just chose to drop myself in a random spot. And it's thrown me somewhere horrible, I'm, I'm going to be honest. Uh, it's like right at the edge of a map somewhere, so I'm just going to figure out where I am. Oh, they've put me on Timberwolf Mountain. Great. <laughs> so, first thing I will say is color, like the color palette on this is stunning. And if I if I've played this a lot, you'll hear me you'll hear me say that all the time. It's just this game is so pretty because it just is. Um, but. Timberwolf Mountain is equal parts great and awful to land in. Um, there, there's a literally only one place at the bottom of the mountain where you can kind of survive, which is a nice little cabin. But I also learned around here that they added moose to the game, and uh, I got myself trampled and it broke basically all of my ribs within the first five minutes of playing the game. So pray for me for no moose. That would be great. <laughs> I'm just gonna I'm just gonna kinda run around for a second and reacquaint myself with the area. It's been a while since I've played this game, so I'm like I go through phases of just this is my life. And then it's pretty much the same as Sims. I'll play it to death and then I'll just go, I can't touch this for two months. Um and this is very much the same, like I absolutely freaking love this game and I play it constantly and then I get to a point where I'm like okay I just need to do something other than get chased by bears <laughs> you never seen one IRL but apparently they're huge yeah I remember um, I think it was Fish that was saying about how like they were giving them advice for avoiding moose on campus and I was like Jesus Christ I didn't realize they were in the game until I got kicked in the face by one Life! Hey, bestie! <laughs> Look who's online! Yeah! <laughs> Someone who chased one with a broom? Damn, that's brave. Sorry, I can hear the wolves going and I'm just talking through it, so I'm probably going to get ambushed any second now. It's fine. If I die on stream, it's great, it's fine. Jesus, this is cold. 
Jesus, this is cold. No shit. It's actually not that bad out here at the moment. Like, this is good weather on this mode. Uh oh. Oh, for God's sake. There we go. I told you. I told you I was going to get ambushed. Hey, buddy. You stay over there. I'm just going to keep moving. But yeah, how are you doing, life? How was today? Please ignore the growling in the background. It's fine. We're just going to... Oh, God. God <laughs> We're just going to try not to die while I ask how, how everything's going. <laughs> this is this is great. This is a great start. Got Alaska. She just she just had moved from India and didn't know how dangerous the moose were. She was trying to chase it off so she could get in the car for work. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my god. I okay, I'm like not paying attention to the game because I'm reading chat, but also I'd rather read chat right now. Um <laughs> This is fine. This is okay. I'm good. There were a lot of kids yelling at one point. Yeah. Was it quite busy where you were? Like, there are a lot of people there? <laughs> also, don't mind me just picking up sticks while uh, running for my life. I'm trying to find how to get out of this area. Um, <laughs> I can't remember how. Oh my god, dude, leave me alone. Go focus on your own life and your own career. <laughs> yeah, I don't blame your life. That's uh, having that many kids running around, like, I mean, you, get, you put one or two of them in a room with me and I'm like, uh, okay, it's uh, time for the adults to be alone for a second and just let the screaming kids be elsewhere, but... When you've got like so many of them just running around. Uh, also, there's tracks everywhere. Um, uh, I'm gonna go up here. <laughs> it could have been five more, but your sister couldn't come. Um, it's a shame you uh, didn't get a chance to see your sister, but at the same time, yay for less children. <laughs> it's not that I like hate children, but I just hate them being in my presence. If that makes sense. <laughs> I think they're still following me. This is this is fine. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Can I go into this cave, please? Please don't be a bear in here. I swear to God, if I escape the wolves, to have a bear in my face. They can exist, just uh, not around me. Yeah. That's the thing. Like, kids are. If you like, if you want kids and you enjoy them, then that's completely. I'm never going to tell anyone not to. But like, I don't know how to communicate with them. And like, this is a great first impression, by the way. If there's any random people in this first stream that don't know me, this is going to sound horrible. But I, I genuinely, I just have no idea how to talk to them. Like, my friend's mum, growing up, was a babysitter. She always has been, and I literally just sort of stare at them awkwardly, like, cool. Uh, I, that that's a good truck. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, bye. <laughs> uh, there we go. There's I can't see shit in this cave. Ah, oh, it's a shame. Life. Hope hope they're all alright. Oh fuck you. Okay. I'm I'm leaving. Okay, dude, chill. <laughs> hey, dream. I forgot I had that sound effect for the follow. I hope you hear that. Also, you came in a uh, perfect time. Uh, I just got mauled. <laughs> this is a great start. Uh, and um, if you see at the top oh. of the screen those two little bits that just appeared, 
Uh, that's a scent marker because I am completely covered in blood and now I'm falling down the hill. I, I'm not moving right now and that's doing it on its own. Okay. Well, rip I guess. <laughs> Great. Fantastic. Uh, right, uh, we're going to leave that for one second while I see what's happening with my alerts. Damn, dude. He's very proud to have killed me. <laughs> okay, one second. Um, how do I replay alerts? That's something I don't know. Oh, he does. He doesn't want you to pause. No, well, unfortunately, I'm dead. Uh, no, mate. That's completely fine. I'm good with that. Um, so I'm just, I don't actually know how to replay stuff. Let me, hmm, it's in the activity feed, but I don't know how to replay it. Um, in OBS, uh, see, this is something I just need to figure out anyway, because I, I heard that alert, but if you guys didn't hear it, then there's a setting somewhere I need to change. Uh, is this in the activity feed life? So I'm just looking under activity feed and if I click the three dots all I have is follow or report. Which I uh, absolutely don't want to report. I'll drop a follow. <laughs> but. Uh, there's no other option to replay the alert, which is interesting. I'm not sure if I like, do I need to do that in stream elements or something? This is where I'm starting to get overwhelmed already because there's just so much stuff that I'm like, I'll figure that out when it occurs and then it occurs and I'm like, oh God, now I need to figure out how to do it. Oh, interesting. Uh, thanks for sending me that live. Uh, that's really helpful. My OBS doesn't look like that for some reason. I don't have a, a button like that. <laughs> that's uh, that's great. <laughs> this is going perfect. Yeah, good point. Um, because I don't have stream elements. Um, well, I have stream elements, but I'm not logged into it at the moment. So I'm just doing this purely with OBS. That's interesting. If I go into the like mod view, um, it doesn't let me replay it through there either. No, because it's basically just uh, I did all this sort of stuff on stream elements, just random sound alerts that I forgot that I added. So we're going to be surprised by those if I can get them working. But that was a quote from Alice in Wonderland. And I'm like, it, it made me chuckle. So if I can get it to work, that would be great. That I'm just, I am a relative noob, so <laughs> not entirely sure where to find anything. Don't think you can send the alert again from just OBS. I had to use stream elements dashboard to do it or mix it up. Oh, mix it up. I wonder if I can do it through that.
mean, I equally have not too much idea <laughs> how to use mix it up either. This is good that we're kind of getting this stuff out of the way, though, is I always knew the first one was going to be a massive mess. So uh, I will have to find out where that is. Um, I'll figure that out some other time because I um, it's probably going to take me a long time to like, go sifting through everything. So um, I will figure that out later. Um, and welcome, Dream. <laughs> it's good to have you here. Um, that's what test dreams are for, yeah. That's why I was like, oh, this stream is fake. Yeah, let's just, just pretend this isn't a real stream. This is me just fucking around and being like, how, how do I do things? <laughs> just uh, tab back into the game and the first thing I hear is paw prints around me. That, that wolf is still stalking my dead body. Um, let's just leave. <laughs> I'm not going to save those stats. I'll actually survive for about 10 minutes. You are a very smart beeb, Jay. But that said, it is nice to have you guys, like, around just A for support and B for, like, when I'm freaking out, being like, what buttons do I press to make the thing do the thing? <laughs> you guys haven't had experience. It's just nice to kind of be like, I can sit here and have, like, a mild existential crisis, and you guys are like, I got you. <laughs> it's good. So uh, I'll figure the alert thing out later. Um, I have no idea why they didn't play on stream or if it did maybe it was just really quiet because I definitely heard it myself so I'm wondering maybe if like I've got the emotes linked to something else that maybe like have, maybe having desktop audio muted means the alerts not coming through that that might be a thing two years in you still don't know half of this stuff <laughs> That's the thing, like, again, like, I have to remind myself, like, I see streamers that have been going for, like, seven years and then things still go wrong and they're like, yeah, I'm a professional, definitely, I do this for a career and things still go wrong. <laughs> Alright, let's, uh, let's try this again and uh, hopefully this uh, works a little bit better than last time. I just completely wasn't paying attention before and I was like, cool, that's a wolf, I'm going to walk this way. Cool, that's the second wolf, I'm going to go that way. Great, I'm surrounded. <laughs> hmm. I'm not sure what map this is. It's maybe like Pleasant Valley or something, so... Probably better than uh, Timberwolf Mountain. There's a few more buildings and things in this area. I think there's like a this logging area, but I could be completely wrong and end up in a absolutely different part of the universe. Uh, but it's fine. We'll figure it out. As soon as you think you have a handle on it, something updates and changes. Yeah, it feels very much the same as like completely different scenario. But like our local shop has just fucked around with everything and just moved every shelf from where you think it would be to somewhere else and it's like we, we've been going to this place for how long and now we have to relearn the shop and I feel like that kind of really overwhelming feeling when tech changes where it's like please why did you have to do this now I have to relearn everything All right, I'm gonna head towards this broken tree because I think there's a pathway over here um I'm still not entirely sure where I am, but this feels better than the other one. Oh no, sapling. To start the game with a sapling in your face and not be able to get it because I don't have any... Like, I don't have a hatchet or a hacksaw or anything. Like, that's really sad.
I'm gonna grab some cattails because you can eat the stalks, which is like really easy calories. They're like ridiculously light and take up no space in your backpack, but I think they're like 100 or 150 calories each. And then you can use the heads for tinder, which is just perfect when you're like wandering around and have nothing else. It's just, I'm just gonna eat some plants. <laughs> I'm still, like, very lost, but we'll figure it out. <sighs> Wait a second. Hands. Have they put me on the full-on musk egg? Bloody well have, haven't they? Okay, hang on. <laughs> the full on musk egg is like not a place you want to be at the beginning of the game. There's like a couple of things on the train, which is good to have, but it's a really dangerous area. There's like thin ice everywhere, and if you fall through the ice, it's like instant hypothermia, which. As you can probably. Yeah, so I'm in the full on musk egg. Fuck this. <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> Sometimes I don't mind and I'll like go to the train, but I'm just not in the mood to screw around with that right now. Uh, simple tools, I'll take those. How do I get around? Thank you. So yeah, this is definitely a better area to be so in. in my life. I know, buddy. Um, if this is where I think we are, if I go down this way, we should get to the trapper's cabin, which would be just nice. There's lots of good, like, lootables there, and there's usually some food, which uh, is going to be great. We're already freezing, so yay! <laughs> That's going to happen a lot in this game. Just grab some sticks and shit. Also, that's exactly why I made this an 18 plus stream. I, I I can't help it. The shits and effects and whatever just come out of my mouth sometimes. So, <laughs> get used to that, I guess. Alright, is this Max? No, I don't think it is. There's an area around here that's called like Max's Last Stand. And I mean it might be him. I'm not sure, but like the lore is like he was like fighting for his life near the cabin and he did not survive unfortunately. And sometimes he has some stuff on him, but he only had a hat right now, which speaking of I should probably put that on before we freeze to death. Look at my guy. He's beautiful. <laughs> I'm getting paranoid already. I can just feel like I'm hearing footsteps around me and it's probably just me being a loud breather. <laughs> but you can't be too careful. I think there might be a bear in this region as well, so uh, that'll be fun. Oh, feck you! I'm ages away! Jesus Christ. Alright, I guess we're going up then. This is the only unfortunate... well, only unfortunate. There's a lot of unfortunate things about being on difficulty modes, but... They see you from so much further away. But um, in theory, if you just keep walking away, it'll be fine, so... The problem I had before, I just got myself cornered, so, uh, I mean, I guess we'll just keep going, and maybe you'll see me die tw twice in one hour. This is a really dumb idea, picking up stuff while he's chasing me, but we do it for the views.
You know, I have a really horrible feeling that I've misjudged whereabouts on the map I am. I thought the, the cabin was this way. Uh, I'm not. I'm not convinced, but if it's where I think it is, it'll be just around this corner somewhere. If not, then uh, good luck, everyone. I guess <laughs> we'll be fine. Where is this dude? I don't know, maybe he's left us alone now. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Dude! The one time I played up the tutorial I died almost instantly. Yeah. It's very easy to die in this game, especially at the beginning where it's like you're running away from wolves, there are bears everywhere, like the cold will get you if starvation doesn't. <laughs> it's, it's an unforgiving game. The Deadfall area. Great. Uh, I can't remember where the Deadfall area is. Fantastic. We're lost, but we'll be okay. So I watch a lot of... Um, I don't know if anybody knows Graystal plays on YouTube, but I watched a lot of his playthroughs of like early The Long Dark. Like, I think it's been out since like 2014 or something. Um, actually, yeah, we'll come over this way. If that wolf's still chasing, he should go for one of these. Um, yeah, yeah, he's, he's like my. I love watching him before I go to bed. Like a 15 minute episode is just like. It's perfect for just chilling out in the evenings um but if you go back to like his really old content he does a lot of like old school long dark playthroughs uh, and so a lot of what i know i learned from him but obviously the game's gone through a lot of updates since then so there's a bunch of stuff i still don't know but i was lucky enough to have a little bit of like an idea of what i was doing um but if you don't have no idea what you're doing you'll come into this and it will just be death after death for a while which sucks but if you can get through it it's a very rewarding game it's got one of the most like beautiful scenery and just the art you'll hear me talk about that a lot because i fucking love this game <laughs> but it's like for something which is basically just blue white and then brown like they've done such a good job <laughs> yes, yeah, I think they all got away. Um, I don't know where that wolf went, um, but I think everything else got out of the way, so we're good. Hopefully I won't have to kill too many bunnies on stream, but unfortunately, uh, if I need to eat, I am going to have to, uh, for the greater good, sacrifice one. <laughs> uh, in, in, the sense, uh, in the case of doing any of those, though, I will kind of let let you guys know if I'm like gonna do something which may be like graphically not something you want to see I will let you know before I do it just because it is a part of the game but also not something that everyone wants to see like sometimes I might have to just... Jesus Christ let's get the shit out of me <laughs> need some first aid I'm fine Ah, oh, okay. Uh, my heart rate is skyrocketing. It's fine. <laughs> At least it was only a, a wolf, not a bear. I'm actually sweating. <laughs> it scared me so much. Alright, let's get away from him before I try and do anything. Yes, I know, dude. You'll be fine, Will. Just want to make sure he's not going to come back for me while I'm taking care of myself yeah I've massively misjudged this map oh dude seriously did you not like he's got a taste for my blood now <laughs> that's it he's like hmm tasty mad uh, I'm gonna go back after you uh, you can just leave me alone preferably Ideally, I'd like to find a, uh, a building soon, but <laughs> Mad's a snack. A snack with a double C. <laughs> yeah, that's right, I'm a nummy treat. 
feeling faint. I know, dude. If I could do anything about it right now, I would, but if I don't keep going, this wolf will get me. Okay, I'm, I don't like doing this. I was hoping to keep this. Fine, fuck you. Anything. Damn it. <laughs> cool. I've completely forgotten how to play this game, apparently. Oh, it's fine. The sound effects, yeah, like the atmosphere in this game is insane. Like, the amount of times you'll probably end up seeing me just stop and... <laughs> I'm sorry, was was I interrupting your howl, dude? Chill. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, like, the sound design is perfect. You have to have your headphones quite loud to hear it, but, like, you'll hear, um, like, footsteps behind you sometimes, and it's really hard to hear when the wind is picking up, but, like, Sometimes that's all that will save you if you hear just uh, this tiny little padding and then you turn around and there's a bear just sneaking up on you. <laughs> it's the scariest shit. Um, if you want to, lie. Um, I don't know how long I'll be going for just because I feel like an awkward twat. Uh, just kind of just... I don't know. Trying to fill the silence with talking and I'm kind of forgetting half of what I'm saying after I say it but I guess we get used to that um, so if you would like to feel free um, uh, I'm probably just gonna let myself get killed in this game a couple of times so I'm totally cool with that um, uh, if you guys are enjoying this game I'll keep going but if you'd like me to try something else also just let me know um, this one is just the only one I know I can do in like Hang on, let me just, um, okay, whatever. I've got so many <laughs> death saves on this that I have to keep overwriting them now. Yeah, I've got on 1280 by 720, uh, just so it fits inside the OBS window, so I can still see all of my OBS stuff with one screen. Like, Perfect World, I'd have a bigger desk with a second monitor, but that's an expense I literally can't afford to do right now, so... Uh, this one was just, like, a really easy one to start with. But, um, I'm not sure what other stuff I'd want to play on this on Sundays, but... We'll keep any kind of, like, spooky or creepy kind of games to Wednesdays, which, for anyone who hasn't heard me talk about it yet, I'm... Lovingly dubbing it Hello Wednesdays because I want to play some spooky games at some point. Um, I'm a complete chicken shit, but I want to I have a go at some of the ones I've been watching people play. Um, and I know that spoops aren't for everyone. Um, the security camera one? Yeah, that's definitely one of them. Um, there's five, five of those games. Um, the third one is in first person, and it's creepy as hell. Um, but those are definitely some of the ones on the list. Um, there are also going to be ones where it's just like, this is a really funny kind of awful bad game, but is like Halloween themed if there's like zombies running around or like, I don't know, some kind of like indie pumpkin smashing game. You know, if there's anything like that, we'll have some good fun on Wednesdays. Um, but Sundays is kind of more generic. Um, well, not generic because that's the wrong word to use but like more like friendly for most other people because i know that i'm kind of a masochist watching scary games um and it'd be nice to do something that um my friends like to watch too so <laughs> um if there's anything that you guys ever are like oh, i want to see that played and or you just want to watch me suffer um i'm certainly just like send me suggestions and we'll see what other stuff we can play. Uh, for now I'm going to choose a new game and try one more time and if we die again then maybe I'll load up my uh, other save which is going better.
Right, I don't, I don't usually do this. I like to start random, but it would, be, it would be nice to survive for more than like 20 minutes. So I'm going to just go to Mystery Lake. Um, there's a couple of cabins there. It's a much more peaceful area and slightly easier to get around. So we're going to try that and hopefully we survive for a bit a bit longer. The view. I can type. So yeah, a mysterious geomagnetic storm has brought your plane crashing down into the northern Canadian wilderness. How long can you survive? That's all you get in survival mode. That's all it tells you. Uh, story mode, you definitely get a bit more like behind the scenes of like who they are. Because um, you've got the main character, um, the male character is, I think his name is Will McKenzie. And then the woman is Astrid something. I can't remember her last name, but like the main story kind of follows the reason why they come to Great Bear, which I won't I won't give any spoilers for story stuff. We will play through that at some point. But for survival, this is all you get is just a storm went down, shit got fucked up, now survive. <laughs> Extinction is the rule. Survival is the exception. Carl Sagan. I choose an easier map and it's the middle of the fucking night. Thanks, game. Uh, can you guys actually, with it being night, this is a good way to, to see. Can you guys see this okay? Because it is a very dark game at times, but if I need to turn the brightness up, I can absolutely do that. I can already hear the walls in the distance. Well, I say I'll uh, turn up the brightness. Uh, I actually don't know where any of the buttons are. Surely there's got to be one for brightness somewhere. Am I just not seeing it? Like, scream at me in the chat if you see it. But, like, I, I also am blind, so <laughs> I might just be completely overlooking it. Gotta be in one of these two, surely. Hmm. Okay. Well, apparently, I can't, I can't up the brightness. This is great. Okay, well, the good news is we have a cabin right here, um, so hopefully we find a lantern in there, it would be nice. Try and add a filter in OBS. Yeah, if I can figure out something with that, that's probably going to be the play. I honestly thought there was a way to up the brightness on it. Uh, I've seen people do it before, but I wonder if they have been using filters then. Um, also, if you can't see anything right now, neither can I. So don't worry, that's not a you problem. Uh, I'm going to just fumble around in the dark for a second and just try and find a light somewhere. Luckily, I kind of know what this cabin looks like. So I'm trying to like feel my way around. Well, I say that I'm going to like this um, match and you know I'm going to be facing a corner. Oh, that's why I can't get anywhere. I'm stuck in here. It's a lot of stuff, but no lantern. Great. Oh, I hate doing this. Try not to use 
too many of my matches to see, but... <laughs> this is going great so far. <sighs> right, well, the good news is there's a lot of stuff in there. The annoying thing is I cannot start a fire because I don't have enough stuff. So uh, I'm going to just try and find some sticks and things just so I can actually see what I'm doing because that kind of sucks. Freezing. That's good. I might should do that quick enough. I could use the lip match. I didn't know you could do that, but you Come know, it's good fire. to know for the future. That's a, that's a perfect amount of light. Absolutely zero. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna try and do this quickly then. I could use this. Grab some wood. Trying to hide on me. You gotta be careful on these workbenches. This it's usually like I just found a hook and a line there, which means I can eventually go fishing, but they like to hide shit on you in this game. So you've got to be really careful when you're looking around. Especially like on the harder levels in Interloper, they'll like they'll put something in here and it'll be like a can of food. And in these levels you really kinda of need to get everything you can. Take the papers to break up for tinder. Some pork and beans, energy bar, take the spray can. I hope this torch lasts long enough. Actually no, I'm I'm scared that's not gonna last, so I'm gonna go straight upstairs. Is there a dead guy here today? There is. That'll come in handy. Not they're not great shoes, but I can rip them up. Um, they might give me a little bit of leather, uh, so I don't have enough light to see anymore. This is great. Where are the drawers? I'm like micro moving my mouse just to be like, right, I know there's a set of drawers or sim here somewhere. Words are hard. Ragged cargo pants. Cargo pants are okay, but better than the jeans you get. This stuff will come in handy. Sports socks kind of suck. Yeah, we'll put these on for now. Uh, I think these ones are overall going to be better for like wind protection, so we'll put those on the outside. I don't really know if that makes that much of a difference, but I'd rather not fuck around and find out, so. These would be like a lot better when we mend them, but we need light for that. So I'm just gonna try to wander around. It's a terrible cast system. It is. It's not. It's not great. It's like the good thing is you can like double up on a lot of accessories, um, which is nice. But it's so funny watching the graphics of this compared to when you're walking around in the world. Like it's oh, it's so beautiful outside. Look at the scenery, and then you come in here, and I'm like. That's it's an interesting look. I'll give him that. Uh, unfortunately, we haven't found anything else yet. That's fine. How are we doing? No hypothermia risk. Still got plenty of calories. Uh, that's fine. 
Uh, the sun's on its way up, but there's not a lot we can do at the moment. And um, let's see if I've got any crafting stuff I can do. Uh, yeah, we'll make we'll make that. There's a lot of stuff you need light for, but there's a couple of things you can kind of still do in the dark. I think you can still tear up clothing, but you can't repair it. Um, we'll make some tinder plugs. There's a lot of like balancing weight in this game, which for someone like me who's shit at maths is like it's a work in itself of being like right. A tinder plug weighs 0 0.05. A stack of papers weighs X amount. But when you break that down into tinder plugs, the tinder plugs are lighter, but you have more of them. And it's just it's a whole thing of like inventory management. And it's not something I'm very good at most of the time. I spend most of my time running in this game overweight. But I also do that in D&D. &D, so it's not, it's not a new concept to me. Just... I'm a hoarder, unfortunately, and I like to keep things. Bedroll. That's that's kind of huge, I'll be honest. Um I can't remember if you already have one. Um I forgot to look. Um okay, we do, but that's good because this will give us a absolute crap ton of cloth. Um and that's great for like mending all this stuff up like all of our clothes at the moment are absolutely battered. So we're going to want to fix that. Um, but for now, we have a bit more light. I'm just going to finish searching this place. Come on, give us something good. Us? Encumbered? No way. We do all run overweight in D&D. &D. But I'm, I can't help it. I'm chubby. See if there's any more stuff. Survive the outdoors. Uh, those are great. Um, you when you study them, you use up calories to do so, and you can study up to like five hours per book, I think it is, and um, it helps towards like your skills, like fire starting and like cooking and stuff. Which I know is that's a fantastic description to somebody who has no idea of the game. But words are hard, so <laughs> hopefully you get the gist. Oh my god, not the chub rob. <laughs> Thank goodness. So when you were talking when you were talking about the chub rob stuff yesterday, I just it reminded me of one of these awful radio ads we had at one point. And I heard it when I was like ten and I've never been able to forget it. And it was like just this guy's voice just going, Do you chafe when you walk? And I'm like, dude, I can't get that memory out of my brain. Okay, lots of stuff to just break down, which I don't want to do right now. Also, apologies for putting that image into your head, but you'll have to suffer with me. There's lots of cans in here. I'll take them. Cheeky little soda. Is it food or...? <laughs> Is it food? Uh, I don't actually know, because that sounds disgusting, ketchup chips. Crunchy, tangy and ketchup flavoured with a salty punch that will make you thirsty. A Canadian classic. I'm like, every time it says something's a Canadian classic, I'm immediately looking to Jay like, do you, have you ever tried these? Have you ever had ketchup chips? Is this a thing? <laughs> do love me some ketchup chips. <laughs> nice. I think like Walkers tried to make a version of them at one point and they were just disgusting. My fingers oh, hey, numb. we can see. That's nice. Fact checking with a resident Canadian. Oh, she, she's my only source of uh, anything to do with Canada. <laughs> At your service. I'll die if I don't warm up soon. I know, dude. You're fine. Trust me. You you'll know when you're dying. That sounded really ominous, but it's true. Now, is that wars or are those deer? I think those are deer.
I mean, I can hear the wolves, but I don't know actually. I'm I'm just not going to go over there. That's that's probably safest. We'll just leave them. We'll leave them be. Uh, now I will let y'all know there is a bear in this area. So if I suddenly just like shit my pants and scream, it's because he's around the corner. It's kind of hard to hear him in this area. That is most definitely a group of wolves. I am glad I didn't go over there. <laughs> Makes me great content. I don't know if I'm actually allowed to, you know, literally shut the stream, so hopefully it doesn't scare me that bad. Uh, that's a fuck ton of wolves. I'm hearing all sorts of weird stuff, but hopefully that's all all of the wolves in the map are over there. So uh pray that there's no bear over here because I would cry. <laughs> that would just suck. Like going through three save games in one stream would just be very upsetting, I'm not gonna lie. I can hear the ice cracking, it's freaking me out. I don't think you can fall through the lake. I think the lake's completely frozen. Some of the maps you have to be really careful, but I think this one's okay. Frozen Angler is great. Uh, frozen Angler gets you fishing skill. And I think you can here. level up completely, actually, with the book. Which is nice. I keep forgetting to do this. Oh my God, I'm so paranoid. There's so many just sounds in this game. Wolf carc- oh shit. If there's wolf carcasses out here, that means the bear's been around. <laughs> uh, good luck everyone. Absolutely giving me that park vibes. I, I'm not going to try and say that because I will butcher it. I'm so sorry. I literally walked out into a frozen lake when we were up there. It isn't super north compared to other places, but in the winter it very much has the vibe to it. Nice. I hear like a lot of people say when they go over frozen lakes, it's like quite an experience. I think I'd be terrified, if I'm honest. Like this, I'm like whatever, because I know in the game in game terms you're not going to fall through. I would be so scared of like falling through the ice and then not being able to f find my way out. But I know a lot of people will do like ice skating on frozen lakes and it just like it seems like such a beautiful idea, just equally terrifying. I'll have to look that up though, um, just because uh, my uncle and aunt are at some point going to Canada. Um, and they're like looking at different places to go. And I know they want to stay for a night at like Niagara Falls. Um, and I was like, oh, I have a Canadian friend. I'll ask her all the places to go. Um, so if you've got any suggestions, I'll let them know. Oh, yay, the emotes work. I'm getting like really excited when the small things work at the moment because I'm like, yay, I did something right. <laughs> To be fair, that's me to a T. I get excited about the little things all the time. I think I heard that the radio does work, but it has to be during an Aurora. And I've never played at a point when there is an Aurora to see, like, test that theory. But like supposedly there's a lot of stuff you can do with electronics when the aurora hits but because i've not experienced it myself i 
kind of don't really know that much about it. So if that happens, we'll be learning together, which will be nice. Take another stack of papers. Yeah, there's a, f there's a few uh, a few cabins around here, so we'll just peek into a few. That one's burnt. That one's burnt. But we've got some more around the corner. <laughs> Thank you, May. I like feel like I over-prepared, but also I'd rather have too much stuff done that I don't actually need than suddenly be like, oh, I don't have a bunch of important things. Da, 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 da. Let's run this way. I'm still scared by the fact that it said wolf carcasses. There's not a lot of things that kill wolves in this game. <laughs> and the things that kill wolves are scary. So we're going to just be kind of vigilant. The wolf just patiently waited for you to be there and didn't arrive on time. Yeah, that was a party that I wasn't prepared to crash, honestly. <laughs> like, the wolves, they, they're hard to fight off, but like, it's okay if you kind of have like a weapon. Like, even if you have a hatchet, it's like, it doesn't do as much damage to you, but it still kind of sucks. So when you have nothing, it's like, cool, uh, I guess uh, I'll just wait to die then. <laughs> there are brooms in this game? That's that's news to me. Ah, oh, trunk, this should have some good stuff. And of course, as I say that, there is literally nothing. Great game, thanks for proving me wrong. <laughs> Anything on the bed? a lot of crates and stuff. I'm going to break a couple of these up just to warm up. If I can warm up. Uh, no, okay, it's too it's too cold in here. Alright, now can I remember where the bear cave is? Because I don't want to go that way if I can avoid it. I want to try and look in here, but I'm going to be careful, because it would be nice to not die for a little while and actually get something set up. The wind is picking up, that's not a good sign. Take a whetstone. Hope nobody needs this anymore. Ooh, gloves. I will put those on in a minute. Anything behind here? Nothing on the shelves. Oh, there's a sewing kit. Nice. Make some more charcoal. I would like to do some ice fishing, seeing as I have a, a free line, but I don't want to use that one because it's got no door on it. I don't know if wolves come into buildings that don't have doors. I don't think they do, but it would be nice to have a little extra layer of protection. What sounds in this game? Though I actually don't think I actually... I don't... Uh, ah, words, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I don't think I actually asked. How is the game sound? Uh, I know I turned off pretzels so there's no music. But I can turn the game sound up. It's only on 50%. So if you need it to be a bit louder, I, I'm happy to turn it up a bit. Oh, damn. I thought I had quotes enabled. What have we here? Uh, I'll add that to the list of things to do. Uh, I thought that was on.
revolver ammunition for the gun we don't have. You can hear the wolves baying in the distance. Kind of nervous. I think the weather's picking up. Um, we still have plenty of daylight. <laughs> thought I'd try it the other way around. Yeah, I thought I'd left that enabled on stream elements, but I think I must have just turned a bunch of it off. Um, I don't know if that's a... Like, May is like the master of MIU. Um, is that something I can do in there for enabling quotes, or do I have to do that with stream elements? Because quotes are fun, so <laughs> I don't mind turning those on. So cold. Oh, shit. Sorry, I just got hypothermia. I didn't think I was that cold. Uh, I guess it's time to, to go back. I've not been paying attention to my health bar. If you look in the bottom left corner with the heart bar, that's my condition. And uh, I did not realise how quickly that was going down. Uh, I have screwed up a bit, but I'm going to get back to the uh, the cabin and just stoke a fire. We should be fine. I just was not paying attention. You can do quotes in either one. I use them in MIU because you can alter them. Awesome. Freezing. Yeah, I'll, I'll look into that. Um, oh, I think I've gone the wrong way. Bollocks. Um, I don't know, actually. I might have gone him up around the corner. Yeah, I'll have a look into that. Quotes are fun. Welcome back, Jay. Welcome back to the madness. Oh, come on, Will. Let's just get back inside. He's struggling out here. Okay, um... One second. I'm gonna I'm gonna break down some curtains just because I need a bit extra light. It's still kinda dark in here. Prefer mix it up for everything. If you want mods to ever help and dig into your stuff, stream animus is better. That's fair enough. Uh, I don't think I have very much going on with stream elements, honestly. I I turned pretty much everything oh, off except for the ones it kept turning back on. Um, so I'm happy to kind of keep things to MIU if necessary, but having that edit function would be nice if it becomes necessary like down the line. Uh, I'm getting distracted, sorry, because my guy is dying. One sec. <laughs> uh, let's just warm up. I'm getting weaker. I know, buddy. I'm sorry. Right, do I have any food and drink? I do. Um, so I need to remain above freezing. We're going to have to stay inside for a while, I think. Uh, frostbite, I don't actually know how to get rid of. Um, this is kind of bad. Um, Alright, well, we'll stay here and we'll heat up for a minute. I should stop the condition from going down any further, hopefully. But we are exhausted, so I'm going to have to sleep for like an hour, which I hate doing. Um, but I think we're going to die. So <laughs> if I can keep him alive, then amazing. If not, then rip times three? <laughs> Apparently I'm not very good at surviving in this game, but I enjoy it nonetheless. Five minutes until melted and then time for boiling. Uh, Trying to find, like... Let's just try and think of anything I can do for a moment, because 
we're having some difficulties. Uh, we'll double hat it because we can. Uh, chuck the gloves on, which I should have done earlier, and I completely forgot to. And the shoes are the same. Oh, look in here in the background. This is heartbeat, and it's like freaking me out. I don't think it's going down anymore, which is good. We do have permanent reduction from the frostbite, but I'm hoping that can maybe go away. Uh, I've never had frostbite in this game before, um, so yay. <laughs> oh, hey, Grinniel. It's good to see you. Uh, yeah, enjoy your luck. Uh, this is my very first stream, so it's kind of a mess. Um, but we're having fun. Seven minutes to boil. Uh, I need something to do. Okay, did you hear that that one? Because I didn't say anything during that one. Did you hear that or not? Because if not, then it is a general emote problem. Okay. Yeah, I'll have to have a look into how to fix that. Um, I'm not sh I'm not entirely sure how. Um, but I'll figure it out. I mean, I could try and replicate the uh, try and replicate the uh, notification, but it won't sound very good. It's um, if you anyone's seen the original Alice in Wonderland, it's that quote where Alice is like, "But I don't want to be among mad people." And then the Cheshire Cat is like, ah, well, we're all mad here. <laughs> it just made me chuckle. And it's so sad that you guys can't hear that. Right. Well, the good news is uh, our condition is out of the red. So I don't hear my heartbeat in my head anymore. I'd say yay we survived, but also we're not in a good state. I'm so See, tired. About 700 calories, we're full on drink. I'm just going to go to sleep. I hate sleeping during the day, but we are not having a good time. So I think we're just going to go and sleep through. Uh, 10 hours should do us. But uh, yeah, sorry the notification didn't go off the sound, but uh, thanks for the follow, Mia. Oh shit. Oh my god, that scared me. This is what I meant about the electricity sometimes will start flickering. Uh, I, need a horse. I completely forgot what it looked like because I haven't really seen it much. Uh, that actually scared me. But I want to go outside because if it's, if it's going to look how I think it looks, the aurora should be out. There it is. This game is fucking stunning. I'm just going to take a moment to appreciate it. The amount of screenshots I have from this game of just looking around at the sky at night, like, it's such a pretty style. And then, like, if you look at all of this, like, you can see the lights flickering and stuff. Uh, I'm still yet to kind of figure out what sort of electronics work when it does this. Uh, this is kind of a new thing for me. So, all I know is it looks absolutely stunning. <laughs> of course, this is going to be the moment I'm appreciating nature and a bear sneaks up on me. Surrounded by snow, nothing to drink. Oh, chill out, dude. You're fine. I mean, he's he's also kind of not wrong. I uh, do need to get him some food and drink, so 
I'll figure that out. Boil a little bit of water down. It would be nice if we had a cooking pot so we could do up to two litres. But we only have cans at the moment so we're going to have to do it slowly. But it's fine. I'm used to not having too much in this game. And if you'll chuck some wood in. Get rid of the torch. Um, we'll keep the book because that's good for starting fires. Right, probably I'm going to need a bit more in here though. Is there a chair over here? There it is. Ugh, fire might go out actually if I do that. Look, I'm stuck on the table. <laughs> okay, the radio doesn't work. I'm disappointed. Still tired? I wonder if it's the frostbite. I can't get over this game. Don't mind me, I'm just taking more screenshots. <laughs> this is kind of one of the reasons why I'm so excited for the update. Um, I did post a link if anyone's in Live's Discord, which... Not your wife, by the way, I do so have tired. shout outs enabled. Um, I'm going to try it real quick. Because I can't remember what I said it to, so uh, let's just try There we are, it does work. Okay, great. Um, but yeah, I was over in Live's Discord, um, posted that thing about the um, Tales from the Far Territories, I think is what they called it, um, which is the update from... There's also Slash Shadow. Okay, awesome. I'll have to remember that one. Um, I always forget things. Also, no. Yes, Life. <laughs> You're allowed to be shouted out because you do it on your stream for me and I'm just getting revenge. <laughs> but um oh jeez I forgot I tab into the game and my mouse is still moving and I'm like having a moment um yeah there's a whole new update coming out where they're basically it seems like they're adding like an entire new set of regions um it's like it sounds like they're doing three new main regions and then one hub and it's like a massive expansion of the map, which is going to be huge. Um, and like they're doing a lot of like general maintenance. Um, I think does that work? It does. It doesn't look neat at all. Um, I can't figure out how to get them on separate lines. The line break doesn't seem to work, but they're there. <laughs> it's not pretty, but it works. Yeah, I can't I can't seem to quite figure out how to use like the um I can't remember what the term is for it, but like where you do like the dollar sign line break thing. I can't seem to get that to work. Uh yeah, it's an MIU thing. Uh, I'll ha I think I'll have to have a look through it at some point and just kind of do some general maintenance and stuff because there's a lot of stuff which is kind of there but may not look the greatest. Like the theory is there, but I thought, I thought I put line breaks in that one and it just kind of didn't work. So it looks a bit of a mess. Um, also, my Instagram handle has changed and I think Twitter has as well. So I completely forgot to update those. Hopefully they still work. <laughs> the YouTube one is the same. I know that much. But I managed to change my Instagram to just Mad Milliner and I got rid of the V, I think, on Twitter. Um, so I'll go and I'll update those as well. 
I completely forgot to do those. I'm definitely a pro. Uh, back to the game. <laughs> Seven minutes to board dry. Alright, we'll drink that. I'm gonna need to eat soon. I know. I don't want to eat too much, though. Jeez, we need to go straight back to sleep. We're not having a good time right now. I'm going to eat some cattail stalks because it's slightly less calories and they're easy to get hold of later. I want to try and keep some of the canned food. Uh, it's one of the unfortunate things with um, the canned food is unless you have a knife or a can opener, you have to smash it open and then you can lose some of what's in there. And like sometimes it'll be rough and you'll lose like, like up, I think up to like 50% of it. Uh, eight hours. Twitch chat doesn't support line breaks. I think people maneuver with spaces. Oh, okay, that's good to know. Yeah, I'll have to have a, a look into that and get that fixed. Because it, I, I, I don't mind it all it's kind so of being there. Life. But yeah, it's not pretty. And I'd like it to look better. You get three more hours. Separate messages is one command. That's a good shout as well, actually. Oh my god. My poor guy. 0 0.03 liters of water. That's going to do absolutely nothing. That guy who drank his own pee doesn't seem so crazy right now. Okay. You do you. I've not, I've never heard that word slam before. Where can I find something to eat? We'll be fine. Come on. All right. I don't think there's anything I can rip up to put in this. This is gonna suck for a minute. Uh, let's just throw the sticks in just to give me long on. Oh shit! No. Let's uh, let's not throw the skill books in the fire, please. That's not looking the greatest outside, but hopefully it's good enough to just go and find some sticks. I just need to get this fire going long enough to make some water. Um, that's usually the sound of a wolf either finding or losing its prey. Uh, I'm gonna, like, just leave him to it. Just add them all. <sighs> Alright, I'm going to fix this hat up. Because it will be just enough time, hopefully, to get the water melted and boiled and also it'll give us a little extra yeah it's got plus two on the temperature one on the wind and it's good for 
pretty much everything. It's one of the best packs you can have. I need to find something to drink. It's right here. Just literally give me one more minute. There we go. Unfortunately, we don't really have enough time on the fire to do anything else. So I'm just going to take this torch with me and uh, we're going to go. We'd like to go ice fishing, but we don't really have enough like, resources to make that a good trip. So uh, I think if we follow, if we follow the train tracks in one of the other directions, uh, we'll get to the Carter Hydro Dam. And there's basically every good item that you could want. You have a good chance of finding it there. Um, I'm just trying to remember. I think we go this way. Of course. Can't go anywhere without a good bit of wolf action. Yeah, the wind's definitely picking up. Um, we're not quite in blizzard territory yet. This is actually relatively mild compared to when you get the big blizzards in this game, but it's enough to still be a concern. Um, wait, what's he running? When scary things get scared, it makes me extra scared. I'm hoping he just saw the fire. Um... <laughs> I think maybe we'll go to the cabins first, because that kind of freaked me out a bit. Seriously guys, I go live for the first time and all you want to do is kill me. Like, you can't make me at least look semi-good at this game. <laughs> no, we're just going to run. Which is probably a bad idea. God, it's burnt down. Of course. I'll take the cooking pot, though. <coughs> the fact that I can't see where this wolf is is freaking me out more than anything. So I can hear him. <laughs> um, hello. Uh, guess we'll just keep going. Hope for the best. Well, oh, there he is. Hello. I'm hoping I'm going in the right direction to at least be still following the tracks just a little ways away from it. It's going to be really, like, deeply upsetting to my soul if I've gone the wrong way. <laughs> yes, I spot you as well. This is supposed to be the easy region, by the way. <laughs> it's like, oh yeah, it's a great place for beginners. And there's wolves everywhere. I don't think the bear comes this far up, though, so at least we're not going to have that problem. I've gone the wrong way. Of course, I've gone the wrong way. Oh, this is fine. I guess I can confirm my theory whether or not the trapper's house is in Mystery Lake, or if it's a different map, because if it's on this map, it should be down here. Oh my god, I can still hear him. Dude, back off. <laughs> Cold is making my head feel thick. I'm 
just listening at the moment. It seems okay around here. I don't know if we lost that wharf or not, but at very least I can't hear any more in the immediate vicinity. I think we're okay. Hey, little bunnies. Just want to lay down for a bit. I'm gonna take some of this. Yeah, you can turn the old man's beard lichen into like antiseptic bandages. So if you have time to pick them up, or like always do, they weigh nothing. And compared to like other heavier items in the game, it works just as well, honestly. So it's usually better to have some of that on hand. God damn it. I didn't think I was close enough. This is basically just the premise of the game at this point. It's just there are always wolves and you're always running always running away and maybe at some point you might find a building. I do have my flare, but I haven't found another one yet, so I'm very reluctant to use it if I can just get away. The premises don't die exactly. Oh god, I want to I want to loot this body so bad. I know there's a body around here somewhere, and I just feel like I'm gonna come across it right as this wolf is on me. I'm gonna feel bad if I have to leave stuff behind, but we do what we have to. I swear I knew the map better than this, uh, so apologies for kind of wandering around in just the middle of nowhere. Uh, can you ever win it, or is that a no? Um, I guess the winning is that you keep surviving. Um, you can win the story mode, I think, technically, by just completing it. But on this, it's pretty much... Um, you can do things like, if you get certain achievements, you can get feats, which you then add to make the survival gameplay easier. But there's not like any particular like end goal or anything. It's basically just survive. Which I am unfortunately not particularly good at doing, it would seem. <laughs> I have like an easier mode save file, so if I just want to feel good about myself sometimes I'll just go into that. I don't know if you heard that, but that wolf that was chasing me just found that rabbit. That's so long, little bunny. Ooh, some nice stuff in here. I'm just going to just hide for a second. Uh, don't perceive me, wolf. Oh my god, I can hear him eating that rabbit. I hope that's not too bad for you guys, because I can just hear the sounds in the, just in my ear hole, and it's not great. Okay, so there weren't any arrows here, unfortunately. Uh, I've never really tried using the bow, because I've never had arrows in this game. I think... Oh. Um. That's the bear. <laughs> I thought that was a tree stump. This is a very kind of precarious situation now. Um. Hmm. Yeah, he is very cute until he's ripping your face off. I'm just gonna crouch down and get this guy. I could use this. Ugh, just a t-shirt. Okay. Um, the good news is if you kind of just leave him alone and don't go too close, he's fine. Like he doesn't stalk as much as the wolves do, but like he runs bloody fast. Um. And I'm not in a very good position to run a lot at the moment. So we're just going to leave him to it. <laughs> Don't perceive me, bear. I am not here. <laughs> let's, just, uh, let's just leave him alone. I 
the way I am like hoping when I cross this hill I'm going to see a building. And I'm sorely disappointed. Uh, right, how do I get down here safely? I don't want to break my oinkles. It's very easy to hurt yourself in this game. Right, there are some games where to get full damage you have to basically jump off the top of a skyscraper and in this game if you like slip off of a rock two feet to the ground you will sprain at easiest you'll sprain your ankle if not you'll break your entire leg okay i uh, i'm kind of lost so i'm just going to try and find the train tracks again Happened last time we played this? Oh god, I remember that. I think I fell and sprained both of my wrists, was being chased by a wolf, and in the process of getting in a way, I sprained both of my ankles. <laughs> I was not having a good time. Problem is, I, I think I was backing away from it and didn't realise I was going uphill at the time. So when I turned around, I was like, oh cool, uh, now I've got to get back down this, and I just I basically face planted down it. Please be something good up here. I can hear a whole pack of wolves out here somewhere. I'm just gonna eat something just to stop my condition going down any further. I'm going to be losing it from having no heat at the moment, but I don't want it to be dropping too fast until I can find shelter, preferably. <laughs> My guy is struggling, you can hear him breathing. Oh hey, a dead guy. He has nothing. Take the feathers though. Oh, thank God. This is the broken train carriage, which means we are in the right spot. There was also, if I remember correctly, a dead deer, at least one round here. Uh, I'm just trying to figure out how to get down this hill without breaking everything. go. I think I can use this. That's nice. I swear in some of these safe games I find flares every five minutes. Um, today we're not that lucky so uh it's nice to have finally have a second one. There's the dead deer. Oh, speaking of flares, there's another two. I'll take them. Right. Can I make a fire out here is the question. I don't have a, an awful lot of fuel, but we need to heat up anyway, so... The thing is with the carcasses when you find them, if they're anything more than 50% frozen and you don't have a tool, you have to defrost it to be able to use your bare hands, so we're going to just kind of it get this as hot as we can get it. Um, I'm probably going to have to run around and find some more fuel, but... That's not too much of an issue around here. There should be plenty of trees. And we'll just let this guy defrost. 
because it'd be nice to have a good bit of venison. I say as a non-meat eater in real life, but in the game you do what you have to. I think there is like an unwritten challenge in this to do like a vegetarian run. Well, you just don't eat any salvation. animals, but that would be really damn hard. Okay, I'm going to cook the peaches. I'm going to lose some of it by smashing it open, but if you cook some of this food, you get a warmth bonus. Oh, jeez, 29%. That's rough. But, yeah, once I do that, I'll give me some food, and it's like... I think if it's like an hour or so in game, it gives you a, bo a bonus to, like, just warming up, um, and that's going to be really helpful at the moment. Just getting the temperature up is really hard. You don't have a lot of fuel for it. But, uh... This would be nice. Nice tasty peaches. <laughs> I also should have used my cooking pot for the snow, but it's already started now, so it's fine. There doesn't seem to be much wildlife around, so... Good opportunity to just reset for a second. Warming up benefit. I'm just going to do a little bit of inventory management. We don't have a lot of stuff at the moment, but if there's anything I can make or fix or anything, that would be uh, good to get out of the way. I've got a few bandages, it's fine. Uh, a lot of these books will be read when I'm inside. Like, It's stupidly dangerous to read books outside unless you've got good cover. Like The amount of times I've been reading, like, oh look, it's great weather, and then halfway through reading, a blizzard's hit, and then... I have half an hour of just sitting outside in the worst weather. <laughs> All I can think about is food. I mean, I've, I've been there. Food is nice. Okay, I'm not going to do these. It doesn't really give us a good enough bonus on this to really kind of make it worth doing. So just make some bandages, sort the rose hips. And uh, hopefully, if I can find myself somewhere to go, I'll uh, go to the building and probably look to end up stream then, just because it's only been about two hours. But I don't apparently talk that much, so... Talking for two hours straight, my voice is just trashed right now. I can already feel it. I've got enough to take a torch. Uh, unfortunately, it's going to take too long to um, get that deer. I wish I could do it, but we're not in a good spot, so... Hopefully, I can get us to the hydro dam. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Really appreciate it. Yeah, I've been thinking about doing it for a while, as most of you well know. And I'm like, oh god, what do I do? Like, 
I keep forgetting that like it's basically just playing a game like I normally do and I'm always I always talk to myself when I'm gaming anyway so it's like the only difference is people can hear what I'm saying so I can sit there and just mumble to myself and have to remember oh yeah people can hear me right now <laughs> vocal warm-ups oh absolutely like I was just like I had a shower and I was just singing before this and my voice felt okay but now I'm like okay um I can feel it like dragging the back of my throat down if that makes any sense and I'm like oh god if I do this often uh, I'm gonna have no voice left I'm gonna have to practice all right I'm just gonna get inside here there's um there's usually some stuff in here I can't remember That's what like side nice we're getting coming. on I think it's this one it's always a nice place to go if you've got wolves after you because you can kind of you can get away but it's also kind of a double-edged sword because they can still see you and they think they're still chasing you so you end up just standing in here for ages like uh cool I guess this is my life now <laughs> uh, I'm gonna keep going though uh, we're running out of time I wonder what's down this way Oh, the loading area. That was aggressive. Hi, Rapid! How you doing? Were you streaming earlier today? Or were you streaming yesterday? Because I remember seeing you on at some point, but my memory is trash. <laughs> nice. What were you streaming? Also, don't mind me, I'm just around that corner. You can probably see it coming up now. That's the dam, so I'm going to try and just hustle and get over there. Thank you for doing the shout out. Right here if I thought I'd ever wake up again. He suddenly had a really strong accent then. That was quite odd. But I do feel that though. When you're so tired, you're like, I'll just lie down on the ground where I am. <laughs> I'll just go to sleep right now. You're always useful, life. Got a new kit, so you were building with it. Take all to the max. Oh, nice. How are you liking that? I don't have any kits yet, except for the free one. Uh, I've heard a lot of people say that it's quite a good one, but I've only really kind of seen it in other people's streams a little bit. You love it. Nice. It's like, it got quite a lot of, like, What's the word for it? Like, I don't want to say intense patterns, but like vibrant, I guess, is the word I'm going for. It's like, it seems like it'd be a real vibe if you can make it work, but it's also like a lot. <laughs> oh, jeez, it's so dark in here. It's great for accent walls and little accent pieces. It's very vibrant. Nice. Yeah, I can sort of see it being really nice if it goes for like little bits here and there, like doing a whole room in it would be a lot like were you doing just a room with it or you were doing a whole build because i remember seeing the, your title was like let's just use the kit with that kit and base game only <laughs> wow yeah doing a whole build with that and base game that's gonna be tough something to eat also i'm so sorry that you guys are in the dark right now i'm like fumbling around trying to find anything but Oh, I hate wasting a flare like this, but I I cannot see. There we go. Let's try and make this quick. Got a cap, we'll tear that up later. A tin of coffee is great. We need that. Uh, get some food. Uh, another little pork and beans. Oh god, I'm stuck. Let me out. <laughs> Uh, cardboard boxes, we don't need that stuff. This stuff will come in handy. Can't wait to get back to the build. Yeah, like, every time I see you build, I'm like, I, I love everything I see you do. <laughs> so good. Well, uh, hope you enjoy whatever you're doing when you go out later. Um, I'm pretty much after this, I'm just gonna go and, like, have a drink and fix my throat because <laughs> it's hurting quite a bit um, and then just go have some food I think and just go 
Have a nice quiet evening. Oh, I can't run. I'm in a <laughs> I'm in a bad way. Alright, it's just searching here. Take some more food. Some of these lockers are unfortunately like this one are like we can't get to them without a pry bar and we have not yet found one. Uh, I'm hoping we get one in the hydro dam. It's usually quite a good place to go for tools. So if I remember, if we end up coming back out this way, um, I'll yeet that open on our way back through. Uh, check the first aid box. Hope nobody needs this anymore. Emergency stim. Emergency stims are going to be really helpful eventually. Um, it basically makes you sprint without losing any... Oh, God. Um, you know what? We're, uh, we're not going to go to the dam in this. <laughs> I will get ripped apart by wolves. Uh, we're just going to sleep in here, I think. Oh, I in. missed some gloves. It's a good thing I came back. Um, but yeah, it's like... Oh my god, that scared me so much. I thought that was in the game. <laughs> I forgot that I had that on. <laughs> Hopefully you actually heard that sound alert because I know my normal like alerts aren't working, but hopefully you heard that. But yeah, no worries, Rapid. Enjoy your lurk. Um, I'm just stood here wasting my flare while I figure out what I'm doing. You didn't hear that one? Okay. Yeah, I'll have to figure out. It might be to do with the fact that I've muted my desktop audio and have other sources. Uh, if that's the case, I will have to have a sort of a play around with OBS. Um, most of it's all kind of new, but this is why we test it. Um, what am I trying to do with my life? I'm so I'm so lost at the moment. Uh, right, night is coming. We need to sleep. We need to eat. Um. So I can hear that playing right now. Here's the desktop audio. Yeah, okay. I love a, I love a play with that. It may be that like I need to make like the alerts a separate audio source. If not, if it becomes a problem, I'll just get rid of the other ones and just have desktop audio going. Um, right, I'm going to drink the soda because it's about to go bad. Okay, it's a uh, full hydration. We'll uh, munch on this bar because it's pretty much the only thing I can eat without smashing and losing a bunch of stuff. Uh, 700 calories. I still have frostbite. I don't know if I can get rid of that. That's going to be really frustrating. Um, God, I don't want to sleep for 12 hours, but I might have to. You survived for two days, three hours, and 22 minutes. Well, that's great. Um, it's nice to actually have a little bit of gameplay I today right without dying. Um, this was good. Um, I think I'm going to leave it here, though, um, before I get overwhelmed and just start spewing crap out of my mouth. Um, so I hope it's been a good fun stream so far. Um I know there's kind of a lot of kinks I'm going to have to figure out, but it's been fun, honestly. I was kind of bricking it before I hit go live, just being like, my first time being live. But I said to myself, like, I speak to quite a lot of you guys, either in Discord, in person, or in other Twitch streams. And the only difference is that I'm actually using my voice to, spo to speak to you guys. So it's good to have everyone here. Um, let me just figure out how to do the things. One second. I'm going to go to this screen, which hopefully is... There we go. So, um, thank you everyone for being here. Um, it's been really good to see everyone and kind of figure out all this shit together. Um, I'm not sure like what you guys are doing with the rest of your day. I know for some of you it's getting late like it is for me so enjoy the rest of your evening 
But uh, for anyone else who's got any more plans for the rest of the day, I hope that all goes well. And um, we'll figure out another stream in the future. Um, if I end up streaming on Wednesday, it will be a Halloween theme, but I won't make it a scary game. It's just going to be something that's got like some zombies and maybe some shooting or something. So um, thanks everyone for being here. I'm not going to raid because that's like really kind of scary at the moment. Um, <laughs> I don't want to mess that up. Uh, I do have a raid command, but that will happen next time. For now, I'm just going to sign off. Uh, if there's anyone else you want to go over to, feel free. Uh, I'm not sure who's on right now. And there's just so many buttons and things to look at. It's just too much in my brain. So <laughs> thank you all for being here. Um, and I will see you guys next time.